Okay, bear spray runner. So <clears throat> think of this just like, you know, very similar to the bullish, except for uh, people are getting out of the stock beforehand. Um, you still have the volatility rise going into this. Um, you know, just like the long call, but instead of that, you're doing the long put because you, you know, the, the stock price is driving down into that earnings announcement. We hold it, you know, anywhere from 20 days, trading days prior to earnings up until the earnings announcement. Um, just very similar, just on the opposite side um, of the long call here. So 25% gain, same thing. Um, you know, these, we try and keep it simple. You can obviously go in and optimize and try and, you know, if you want to try and get 50% out of Facebook or Google, you know, you could, probably could um, find, you know, a good entry date for that. So, yeah, so you're, um, you're in before earnings and you're out before the release, you know, so you're not holding it through that, you know, that big risk. Because, you know, um, which way it's going to go um, is just, it's kind of like a crapshoot as far as I'm concerned. Um, you know, I've seen many times where, you know, a company, you know, be on the top and bottom line and then, you know, the guide, the guidance isn't that good and it tanks, right? So it's mostly, it's not, I would say it's more about guidance that they put out than anything else. Um, because they're normally pretty close to, uh, you know, it's especially like the mature companies, they're pretty, you know, close on the earnings per share and revenue and things like that. Um, newer companies, obviously, you know, as, as they mature, they'll become more and more predictable. But, you know, some of those uh, younger companies are, are tougher <coughs> um, to get a grasp on. So, but yeah, so, you know, all of these trades, um, just like in those charts, you know, you would be, you know, getting in, you know, here, and then you're out, you know, when you hit that target, that price uh, profit percentage, or, um, or you get out right before that earnings announcement, because you don't want to hold it through there, um, you know, because you just don't know, unless you know, you know, you got inside information or something like there. Um, which you know I don't. Um, I I just don't don't uh, hold it through the earnings ever um, for this type of trade. Let's see. I got a question. Yeah. So the overall market direction. Um, I you know the the only time this strategy didn't work very well was in the fall of 2018 you know and that's when the fed was you know shrinking the balance sheet and uh, raising rates and the market just tanks um, that was the only quarter that this didn't perform well um, so yeah if the market's you know um, in a free fall kind of like that obviously you know you want to be hesitant but you know in Q1, this was like dynamite, you know, because it happened, like the earnings started coming out right kind of after the bottom of the COVID, um, you know, where the market just tanked with the COVID crisis, um, but earnings were coming out shortly after that, and, you know, it did really well that quarter, um, and it did, you know, good the last quarter too, Q2, so, um, as long as the market's not in a free fall, um, you know, I think it, it's a sound strategy um, to utilize. And um, that, I think that's kind of the biggest thing, you know. All right, lots of chats. Yeah, I answered that one. Yeah, so um, we have alerts that tell you exactly what um, what the criteria is. So, um, so if we had a 20 day, um, you know, enter 20 days before with a 30 delta, you know, you'll get an alert 
um, in the system saying, okay, put on this trade. Um, and this is the, the strike that meets your expiration and delta requirements. Um, so that's you know automated in the system. You can all obviously you know do it manually too. Um, so it's not it's not difficult to do manually uh, to pick out the right strike. Yeah, so it did work after the COVID bottom. That's earnings started like right after that, and it, you know it, it did really well. Um, the only <coughs> the only thing that um, one of our members who's been doing this a while is uh, Winslow. He likes to um, to see the general trend of the stock too. Um, you know, if it's in a downtrend, and even though it's in a bullish pre-runner, he may pass on it. Um, so you know, you can look at other indicators too. You know, whatever you think is uh, useful. You know, t above the 200-day SMA um, would be you know viable for entry. Things like that. Obviously, you can add in your own criteria on these. Um, you know, so it's kind of up to you um, as far as, you know, what to do as far as each one of these trades. Um, what was I? Um, yeah, so it's just, um, so we're getting out with the profit target, the stop loss, or um, right before earnings uh, with a long put. So, you know, obviously same kind of criteria that we explained with spreads versus, you know, just the long call on the, the bullish pre-runner. It's just, it applies the same to the, the bearish pre-runners. Okay, so you guys are chatting away here. Uh, additional criteria, um, you can scan for that in the system, um, you know, separately. It's not included in, in this, um, in the earnings plan. So, <clears throat> you know, you can go into our screener and look at, um, or like the charts uh, and look up that individual um, symbol specifically with whatever criteria you want to look for. But there's no additional um, criteria that you can add into this earnings calendar. Okay, so, you know, long put, same uh, 60 days, 25%, um, and 30 delta. So, same thing as the long call, but just on the put side. We use same search criteria, except for instead of positive three, we're looking for at least a 3% drop, seven out of 10 years, out, out of 10 earnings, not years, pardon me. So <clears throat> here's an example, uh, Delta. Uh, you can see this one may be borderline, but yet a little drop here. Uh, obviously big drop there, big drop there. Um, but this one tested well at 15 days. So you can go back and like do a little ticks. Okay, 15 days, like here, obviously that's the winner. You know, 15 days, gonna, yeah, maybe. <laughs> um, it was a winner uh, as far as the, the testing went through. But you can see I only had one loss out of the last 10. Um, you can see the risk amount is a lot less than you know what we were seeing for Google, um, just because it's a lower price stock. <coughs> And overall, you know, a pretty good profit factor here, a good win percentage. So, um, you know, as long as, you know, it makes sense as far as Delta, especially recently with, you know, the airlines are pretty much in a crisis. So um, I would be thinking that people are getting out of the stock going into earnings. So um, another one, obviously, uh, EOG resources, oil and gas, obviously been having problems too. Uh, you can see some pretty good downward movements in here. Uh, this one won 90% uh, also. You had one loss back there in 18. Um, but, you know, pretty quick turnarounds here. You know, you see 429 to 5-1, uh, you know, two days, two days, one day, one day. So 
think some of these can hit really quick. I would just expect, um, you know, this entry day is six days, so obviously a very quick trade. Um, whereas, you know, this one was 15 days. So I would go in expecting to have to hold it through earnings, but as long as you go in and put that limit order in uh, to close at a 25% profit, at any point during the day, you know, that it pops right above that price, you know, you're out, trade over and move on to the next one. Um, a lot, not as many trades here. <laughs> um, obviously the market's been pretty bullish. So, you know, we only had eight potential over 80 and two over 90. So not a lot of trades here. Um, obviously the bullish ones were, you know, a massive amount, uh, but you know, I, I personally haven't traded the um, the bearish pre runners, but I've done the bullish pre runners like in spades. I've done that a lot. So, um, you know, this one obviously makes sense, um, but just not as many trades. So, um, so if we go in, uh, you know, same same warnings here. Use the limits, exit before earnings release. Um, and if you go into the bearish pre-runners, you can go through and look at all the data here too. So the raw data from 20 to five days, a lot shorter list, you know, over 80. Um, then here's, you know, your best trades for, <coughs> for all of those. All right, we got lots of questions here, so. Okay. Okay, I realize. Okay, yeah, Sean's trying to cover all these in there. Yeah, so um, obviously a lot less trades, but yeah, if you're bearish on the market, then, you know, I, I would say, you know, more so, you know, bearish on the symbol. Um, you know, you saw like EOG, that one's been hit beat pretty bad. That, you know, Delta, um, you know, bookings, another one that's been, you know, kind of beat down, you know, based off of this crisis and things like that. But I would look at those, um, you know, the individuals, you know, you obviously, you know, I, we go through and teach people, you know, in the system, you know, first thing is to get an overall market bias. So, um, and we use our algorithm uh, called state modeling to, you know, we look at the SPX and uh, the Russell to give us kind of overall market bias. And then from there, you know, we make trades based off of that, whether we're bullish or bearish. So, Obviously, you know, that's a very important thing is, you know, which way the market's going. Um, none of us have crystal balls, obviously, but, um, you know, we, we can get a pretty good, accurate um, gauge of, you know, which way the market's going, you know, using the modeling that we have in the system. So, um, and you can take that down to the individual stock too. Yeah, if you're interested in that state modeling, you know, you can go on the YouTube website. We have a nice uh, explanation. You can uh, obviously email us too. All right, that's not closing. Okay, so that's the first two.